Hey everybody, Mike the Art of Redemptive here. Um, first video of 2018. Uh, oh, it doesn't quite show. Well, I just wanted to say hello, everyone. I uh, hope the folks on the coast are surviving the snow. Uh, and I wanted to say another thank you to Stavros. Uh, for the hypnosis album and the madness. I have listened to that album <laughs> many times already. <laughs> uh, and actually have it on the wall. Took the record out, put it in something else, and put the sleeve on the wall. Or the jacket on the wall. So, so awesome. So awesome. Thank you. Uh, so that's a hello to everybody. Um, and then the other part of this video is going to be uh, two parts. First, an, uh, an opening, and then I'm going to come back with some needle drops because I have um, a package that I got from Ron Anderson. Uh, everybody knows Ronco, my lung puppy, right? Um, I took advantage of picking up some of his vinyl. Um, so I've I uh, appreciate some Ryan Anderson stuff before. Um, this is Ryan Anderson's Secret Curve. Here he is on the back. <laughs> uh, this is Ryan Anderson with Pack. This is 100% human hair. I love this picture of him in there. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, and a bit with his uh, band of molecules. Uh, this one is one of my favorites because it has music and it also has a DVD of him doing performances. Uh, it's incredible to watch. It's really cool. And also his, um, some of his stuff with Oblique Quartet. Uh, this is probably my favorite, this one right here. Uh, in fact, I had to pull it down off the wall to show it because <laughs> I have it up on the wall. Uh, but yeah, so I picked up I picked up those CDs, and there's plenty of other CDs. Uh, I'm gonna put a link below to Ron's um, website and his um, yeah, a couple. He's got a couple websites actually where you can pick up his music. So I ordered, uh, you know, uh, prior to the end of the year, he had a video uh, where he talked about uh, some of his releases and uh, showed the, the vinyl that he has. Um, and then showed another one that, and he said it was like, you know, he was showing his copy because there's only like one left. So I'm like, oh, I have to get that. So I ordered uh, two albums from him. Giant Blade. Yeah. Nope. Sorry. He's got it well packaged here. Oh. <sighs> All right. So So, at the end of the year, he was doing a two-for-one. Uh, oh, these are cool. These look cool. Anyway, he was doing a two-for-one, and I ordered these two uh, two albums. And uh, I just paid him for both, because I'm like, dude, you know, you work hard on this stuff. Uh, and, you know, it's I appreciate what you do, and I'm paying you for it. So, I paid for both of them. And then he threw in some other stuff, so. This is The Infusion by Red Horse, which is, uh, oh man, I'm gonna, it's a lot of these names. Kamel Zekri, Oliver Pequot, and Ron Anderson. Check that out. 
and also threw in Ryan Anderson, anything is possible. That's from 2000. Where is this one from? Doesn't say. But I'm sure you can get both of these on his site. Thank you, Ryan. That was unnecessary, but thank you. I'm going to um, dig them. Alright, so then here's the albums. So this is the one that he he showed. This is Ryan Anderson Fever Dream. I don't know if I can get the glare out of it. There we go. Signed it for me. Awesome. Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> and, uh, we're definitely going to crack this open because I'm going to listen to it. Oh, cool custom label. So this is on this one. Uh, Ryan Anderson, guitars, bass, synthesizer, and percussion, drum programming. Got Ken Clark, alto and soprano sax. Ed Rollins played oboe, English horn, tenor sax. Vocals by Kathy Life, Oren Blodow, Toby Crockett, Ryan Anderson. Ryan Anderson, Fever Dream. Boom. So this is the part one because I'm going to drop the needle on those and play you some play you some tracks. And this is wow, well, I'm not sure I'm going to get this name right. Ben Sparta Fanon Fanon. He said it in his video, and I had to remind it like five times to to catch the name. <laughs> that is a that is a badass cover right there. Here's a band in that one. Joe Morello bass, Ron Anderson guitar, Nonako Yoshida alto sax, and Weasel Walter drums. Oh, recorded live. 56 out of 100. Our records, Mike. So, for those of you who don't know Ryan Anderson, my lung puppy, go check out his channel for sure. Uh, he's a he's a vegan bike rider, world traveler, guitar playing, crazy man. Uh, I, he's one of the one of the first guys that I started watching on the DC and uh, <laughs> I even watch I'm you know I'm not a I'm not a biker cyclist uh, but he's posted some actually fairly long videos of his uh, bike rides around me around New York uh, and then I watched and I had to watch the whole thing and just him tooling around <clears throat> and you know like dude in fast mode and then he sometimes will put uh, some of his own music behind the rides, so it's pretty pretty cool. Um, so Ron, cool. Um, thanks for throwing in the extra stuff. Uh, now I got a lot of music to listen to. So we got Red Horse and Red and Ron Ron Anderson. Anything is possible. Red Horse was the name though. The Infusion and. Ryan Anderson Fever Dream and Den Svartafana Venon? Oh, I'm so sorry, Ryan. Den Svartafanon. I probably slaughtered that. So, anyway, uh, part two of this is going to be some needle drops on these, on these vinyls. So, stay tuned for that. Oh, I just tore the plastic.
Keep that nice. Alright, part two coming at you right now. Hey y'all, it's Mike back again. Um, so I wanted to do, um, sorry about my hair here, I need to put the hat on. Um, I wanted to do a follow up on the Ron Anderson records that I showed. Uh, we have Ron Anderson's Fever Dream, and this is, uh, I think this, this is Den Sparta Fanon, Fanon, sorry Ron. Um, this cover art is wild, and it's like, I mean, you can feel that it's been, this is like handmade, right? Pretty awesome. Oh, get the whole name in there. Okay, so first of all, um, like I, like I said, I have listened to several of Ron's, uh, other output from um, pack and molecules. Um, all the lighting in here is really super harsh. Okay. Um, and I had a certain perception of what I was going to be getting. Uh, and then I put this on. Uh, it was not what I was expecting. Uh, it was, but it, I don't say that in a negative way. I really, really like this, in fact. <laughs> um, it's very, uh, how do you describe it? Kind of introspective. Um, it's slower than uh, the Ron Anderson stuff that I'm used to. Um, and it's just different. I mean, it's, it's, I really, I really like this. Um, I have to say, I put it on and, and I was like, what? You know? Uh, but it's just, it just really, really works. And uh, I, I keep wanting to use the word uh, beautiful sound. I don't know if beautiful is maybe a little bit too over the top, but uh, it's a very nice, it's pleasing sound. Um, you know, you've got uh, horns in here. And Ryan Anderson playing all kinds of stuff. Let's see what Ryan plays on here. Guitar, bath, <laughs> bath, guitar, bass, synthesizer, percussion, and drum programming. Um, and it's just really, this is really good. Um, I think he has more of these, so uh, I would pick some of these up. So I'm going to try to do, I've recorded some needle drops for this. Uh, and one thing I can tell you, I'm going to show the track list here. Well, I'll just read the side one contains Fever Dream, The Point, Three Friends Remembered, and Eastern Blues. Now, there's a lot of track dividers as you play the record, so I'm not sure which track is which. I mean, my first needle drop is from the track Fever Dream. Um, but after that, I'm not sure which where one song ends and the next one begins. Um... So I'm not really sure how to name out the tracks for the needle drop, but, uh, and then I would say probably Fever Dream on side one is my favorite. And on side two, uh, Closed Door and Open Door is probably my favorite. Um, so here are some needle drops from Ryan Anderson, Fever Dream.
Okay, and then this one. Um, I'm trying to say this right. I thought I heard him say in the video as Ben Svartafana, but I could be wrong. Maybe that's how you pronounce it. But again, here is here is the the lineup. Uh, this was recorded live at Big Snow Buffalo Lodge, Brooklyn, September 6, 2012. Um, oh, there's a credit for the cover art, so get that in. Because <laughs> as I was listening to this record, I was kind of like just checking out the pictures in here. Didn't realize this was a looks like a road. And then there's a flag on here, and then all these are just you know different versions of faces. I mean. It's trippy. And it goes well with the music. This is more, uh, I don't want to call this, this is more jazzy. It's like everybody is kind of playing at once, kind of flowing in and out of what everyone else is playing. Um, you know, it's a, it's live, so there isn't even a track list. Um, it's just, I think it's probably just improvised and really good. Again, uh, there's some horn playing in here. It is. Nanoko Yoshida uh, on the horn is just wailing. I really dig it. So, um, so I wanted to put some uh, needle drops from this album in. I think that one's a little quieter. This is the first time I really recorded many major needle drops, so uh, may have had to come back and do that again. So, um, but anyway, Ron, again, uh, thank you. I mean, I purchased these, but I mean, thank you for uh, throwing these in, which I will probably review once it gets warmer. I can play them in my car. I'll do a video of me listening to them as I as I'm driving or something. Um, but yeah, these are really good. Um, and I was, I'm glad I was able to get one of these before it was gone. Uh, but again, y'all, um, I believe he has copies of this Fever Dream album left, which I do highly recommend. <laughs> well, y'all have to tell me what Tragic Mule is, Ron. So it says uh, at the bottom down here, it says... Right, the tragic mule. Easy address. Anyway, again, also thank you for signing them. 
Awesome stuff by Ryan Anderson. So, uh, put links. I'll put links down below to his uh, sites uh, where you can pick this stuff up. He's got lots of CDs and uh, even uh, CDRs available for purchase. And uh, go purchase some. Um, yeah, I mean, I've been watching. I've been watching Ron for a long time, and uh, I know he puts his heart and soul into this music, and uh, well worth it. All right, Ron, thanks again.